This video is sponsored by BetUS. Follow my pinned Twitter post and my Instagram story for more details and use promo code JOIN125 to start betting your favorite sports. Chris uh, Jenkins is uh, set to fight uh, Joey Sindongo. Joey Sindongo used to be a superb name back then, earlier, but unfortunately this outpaw fighter from Namibia 5 foot 10.5, 71.5 inches of reach, lives in Windhoek. Unfortunately he used to be undefeated until 2017. He used to be a World Boxing Association World Super Light title owner and international and IBF IBO World Super Light title owner, knocking out everybody along the way. He was the former Africa Super Light title owner and he defeated majority of great, great opponents. But after that the decision went to Ricky Burns, his downfall started. He was knocked out by Terence Crawford, Regis Progress, and uh, then he bounced back against uh, Elitavitus John Johnson. But the problem is, he is again on a cold streak with back to back TKOs against Dani Ariel Osino and Hassan Mavakinio, which kind of surprised me pretty much. It was a massive, massive surprise for me uh, that match where he was unable to win African Boxing Union Super Welter title. Now his opponent is. Another very experienced fighter, five foot nine. Chris Jenkins, 17 inches of reach, fighting out of Ghanaian Wells. And uh, this Welsh fighter lost to Echo Asuman and fought to a good draw against uh, Liam Taylor. But he won priorly Paddy Gallagher. He was better than Johnny Gorton. He was better than Edwinas uh, Puplauskas. So I think this could be the greatest challenge of his career. I mean, after a uh, loss to Echo as human. I do have a feeling he's got a great chance to get back into the winning column. He lost to Akeem Ennis Brown, who is also a wonderful, wonderful fighter. Unfortunately, even for World Boxing Association Oceania Super Light title, he got unlucky against the Rap Folly. So, only a BBB OFC British Welter title owner for now. But I think Chris Jenkins is a very, very bigger potential and. Uh, I do think this match against Julius Indongo is going to show whether he is uh, whether he is capable of uh, touching the sky. But I do think he is. I do, do think this guy hasn't got a proper chance as of now. He boxes for 10 plus years and uh, maybe his career is uh, going to become better nowadays. I believe I believe he's gonna bounce back against Julius Ndongo because Julius Ndongo is on a very very cold streak, 38 years of age. This is his last opportunity to get back into the winning column. I think Chris Jenkins is fighting in the United Kingdom. Doubt he's going to lose on the scorecards in front of his home fans. So, yeah, he is not a clean knockout artist, but I'm pretty much sure Chris Jenkins. Should be winning this one. I'm giving him at least 60-65%. So, let's go, Chris.